Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 19, Watermarks. In this video, I'll be covering how to use Word's built-in watermarks and how to create custom watermarks. Okay, so today we're going to talk about watermarks. And what a watermark is, is text that appears behind your main text like a faint image. So here's an example of what a watermark looks like on your document. Now Word has built-in watermarks that you can use in your documents. And to look at these, you're going to go to Page Layout, Watermark, and it'll pull a drop-down menu open. So you can just scroll through and look at all the pre-created watermarks that Word has made. Some say confidential, you can see sample, urgent as soon as possible. And if you find one that you like, all you do is select it, and it'll automatically appear in your document. Now, if you decide that you don't like this watermark, you just reopen the watermark menu and come down and click Remove Watermark. Now, in Word, you can also create custom watermarks. And a custom watermark will allow you to adjust the text, font, size, and orientation of your watermark. So to do this, you'll come up to Watermark and click Custom Watermark. Now if you want it to be a text watermark, which we do, we're going to click text and you see here that you are able to adjust the language. You can choose from a list of text that Word has created for you or you can type your own text. Now you can also choose your font and you can choose the size of your watermark and the color of your watermark. Also you can choose if it's going to be diagonal or horizontal. And if you want your watermark to appear somewhat faint, you're going to want to make sure the semi-transparent is checked. So once you've made all your changes, you're just going to click OK. And you'll see that it'll insert your watermark right into your document. Now another option that you have is you can create image watermarks. And to do that, you're going to go back up to watermarks, go to custom watermarks, and select the picture option. So then you'll just click select picture, and you can go through uh, your images and choose whatever image you want as your watermark. Click insert and then you'll just click OK and it will insert the watermark into your document. Thank you for joining NextStar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 19 Watermarks. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.